uh, as you can see we have UI from the previous video but in this video we are going to make something new so basically if I can show you we have done all the configuration that is required for a taxi type application so now we are at the point where we require some drivers as you can see uh, from now onward we are need drivers okay for this we are going to start work on driver app <clears throat> after we register some drivers and uh, we show it on the map then we will come again to the client app or the user app in order to pick a ride so this is the ui that we have created for the driver app so once uh, user install application uh, he will see this screen okay login as driver or as user if he click on driver then this flow is for driver uh, he will uh, register their car and then he will be waiting for the approval when verification done then he will be able to uh, show their self in the um, google map as a available rider okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into it as usual i'm back to android studio and let me uh, log out the user okay and let's give it a restart so basically uh, now what i want to do is i want to work on this screen so in order to work on this screen we have to log out our current user so uh, it is log outed and let's move to the main dot dot file uh, or here we have to create a decision screen okay i'm going to create a views and here i'm going to create a folder okay so it uh, let me name it decision screen and let's return scaffold and body of column okay guys let's wrap this column with a container okay so yeah it's now ready to see I'm going to call it from here and yeah we are able to see empty screen so let's go to login screen and from here we are going to do some copy paste like this one because these are the widgets that I have created in order to reuse it so you guys can see we have green taxi right over here now what we have to do is ma just make this UI so it's quite simple let's uh, let's call um, so we have to create this button <clears throat> and I'm going to create this inside a widget my button okay i'm returning a container that container basically contains some decoration and we have to apply box decoration add um, border radius on it uh, initially let's apply it and after this we have apply box uh, shadow Okay guys, after this we have to uh, do some text decoration on it like 
let's expect text from here I can and then we have to expect text and after doing this we also expecting a function on pressed let's wrap this container with the inquire widget okay and uh, I think we have to provide it the width as well <clears throat> let's expect this from outside too and initially the default value of height is 65 so I'm going to give it a 50 for now and let's make it optional or named argument okay and let's give it width here height 2 okay and what we have to do is we have to make a child that will basically contain a row as you guys can see we have this container and then in the center we have this text widget so let's create a row widget that basically contain a container and with this container we have to give some width and height so width should be 65 <clears throat> 65 and height should be height of the button itself okay and then we have to provide some decoration the box decoration that we have on this box is we have border radius on top left and bottom left okay so now let's apply this to border radius dot only top left radius dot circular let's apply eight over here and also on the bottom left we have to apply same thing also we have to make color so app colors dot green and we have to create a text widget over here this should expect a string text let's see how it looks when we call this button from the decision screen So first of all we have to provide it uh, icon it will be a string and then we have to provide a text it will also a string after this we have to provide it uh, on press function the last required thing is width and uh, I think width should be uh, get dot width let's import get 0 0.8 okay and yeah you guys can see we have this button right over here but one thing we have to do is uh, we have this shadow on the entire container so we have to apply color as well and now it looks pretty so what is missing uh, we have missing two things one is the icon and uh, we have also to show this text in a white color so let's apply style colors dot black it's not showing text why okay because I have not provided anything login as login as driver and yeah now it is showing so what we have to do is we have to wrap this text in a widget 
or let's do one more thing so if we call main axis alignment dot space between so it will shift the widgets uh, and the edges but what I want to do is I have to create another container that will help in aligning the text widget in the center so I'm just going to give it a width and we have to call text align dot center okay it, it, it was not helpful and yeah guys after wrapping it inside expanded it is now looking good so let's repeat same thing for the login as user as well let's import the widgets ported customer dot png and driver png okay so let's use this inside this uh, green container and yeah guys it is now showing both of uh, both of the icons in the button so that's it for this video let's continue further in the next video thank you for watching